like this because I just why should you change how you're singing from when you're talking and I don't know my teacher tells me that I should breathe not like this like maybe like down here or something but I just I don't I took dance for so long and I just always breathed like this and so I guess it's just it works for me when I'm singing Clavicular, or upper chest breathing, is the method that most of the general population uses, usually those who are not trained singers. It produces the biggest breath, but is more difficult to control. Clavicular breathing lifts the shoulders, clavicles, and thorax during inhalation and drops for exhalation. Hi, I'm, I'm Thelma, um, and from all the research that I've done, um, a lot of the pedagogues say that thoracic breathing is really good, <clears throat> excuse me, it's really good for um, long phrases and, and breath control, so um, I, I use that um, because I like to sing very legato and um, it helps me sing the long lines and yeah, um, yeah. Thoracic breathing is when the expansion is centered in the lower thorax using muscular antagonism between the external and internal intercostal muscles. This technique can be very useful when singing long, sustained phrases. Well, darling, I'm Angelina. I have been teaching for about 20 years now, so I'm very educated in methods of breathing. After I had this long career in Europe, all of my Italian teachers taught me a method of breathing called appoggio, which means balanced breathing. This is a method combining thoracic and abdominal breathing, which means expansion is all around here. And although you're using your abdominal muscles to help you support, you're also using your ribs. All right, thank you. Apoggio breathing is a very balanced breathing style which combines thoracic and abdominal breathing techniques. On inspiration, the abdominal area expands by relaxing the muscles. So does the rib cage through the use of the intercostal muscles. Exhalation is accomplished by using both the abdominal muscles and the external intercostals to control the breath through muscular antagonism. which I feel is really low in my body, 
but my boyfriend, who is also a singer, also uses the belly breath, but he feels it a little bit higher, and I think that he's just wrong and he's not doing it right. But anyway, I feel expansion from right above my navel to a lot lower and kind of like an inner tube all around the bottom of my midsection. Abdominal breathing relies on diaphragmatic contraction for inhalation combined with the relaxation of one or more pairs of abdominal muscles. As the diaphragm contracts downward, the abdominal viscera, such as the stomach, liver, and intestines, will be displaced. As the singer exhales, the abdominal muscles will contract, pulling in against the displaced abdominal viscera. The viscera will press the diaphragm back into resting position. Phenomenal.